What's up, my Foy Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys, as well as happy football day. I'm going to chill later on and watch some football, eat some dinner. I just now finished charging up my Jackery for the day, so I should get about two days off of that. I've been really putting my Jackery to the test. I've been cooking with it. I've only, get this guys, I've only been to a fast food restaurant since I got back off the road trip one time and I got my Chipotle fix. So I've been really uh, buckling down and cooking and breakfast and dinner. So and as you guys know, I'm working on that whole cooking just one portion so that I don't have to uh, keep food overnight or any other time. So it's working out pretty good. Right now, I'm heading to the laundromat. I'm gonna do my laundry and then I'm gonna head to the gym and get a workout. Now, I'm, I, made a, I made the decision to work out when I change my clothes. Now, I change my clothes every other day. So I wear an outfit two days and then I change. So <clears throat> every day that I change, I'm gonna go ahead and work out. Cause I go to the gym anyway and take a shower. That's when I'm in town. So that's gonna be my, my routine, hopefully. Cause hopefully I can uh, stick to it. Now a couple people said that my lens was dirty in the last video. My lens wasn't dirty, uh, guys. That was probably the the way that the sun was reflecting off the reflectics or something. Because if my lens was dirty, wouldn't you think that the entire video would be obscured? But it wasn't. So it wasn't the lens. It was the sun coming in from the side. It was whatever, but it was not from a dirty lens. Anywho, when I was reading that, I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> anyway, I am going to the laundromat. See, just like it changed. See that sun coming up in there? Hopefully this laundromat is not too crowded. It looks like it is. See guys, that's the sun. My laundry is right there. Planet Fitness is literally right next to the laundry. So I'm gonna go up in here now. Ooh, they park crooked. Goodness. See how it came back clear? It's the sun. All right, let me go in here and do some laundry. Then I'm gonna go next door to the Planet Fitness, get a little workout on, and then take a shower. And I think I'm gonna try something. I'll let you guys know what that is when I finish. All right. Something I have been had in a long time True love crime, I hope you know that It may hurt for a while Let's slow down, slow down I can see behind that broken smile Nice, sweet, smooth Like cocoa bread, cocoa bread So while my clothes are drying, I got 24 minutes. I'm gonna run over to the grocery store and get some dill because I have a taste for some tuna and macaroni salad. I used to fix that often when 
you know how you take some macaroni and you cook the macaroni up and you put some tuna fish, some mayonnaise, maybe some onions. And I like to put dill in my uh, macaroni salad as well as stuff like potato salad as well. And so I'm going to pick up maybe uh, not a whole onion, maybe like a, a, a shallot because they're smaller. So some dill and some shallot. And I'm gonna make some macaroni salad. Uh, I want it to be cold, so I have to make it early. So let's run in here right quick and get these two things. And then back to the laundromat. All right, they didn't have any dill fresh dill, so I'm gonna go get some powdered dill and see how that works. I prefer the fresh ones. All right, guys, got my dill, got my shallot. Uh, bought a pack of Tasty Cakes. <laughs> now I'm heading over back to the laundry. Hopefully that killed a few minutes. Oh, I made a boo-boo, I made a boo-boo, y'all. I made a boo-boo. Yep. I made a boo-boo with the merchandise. I'll tell you guys about it a little bit when I start working on this uh, macaroni salad here. Oh, I always make decisions that make things, well, not always. I ain't gonna put myself down that bad. But I always, oh, okay, I said always again. <laughs> Jimmy Crack, who on it? Sometimes I make decisions. That's the word I wanna use, sometimes. Sometimes I make decisions that make things harder on me instead of easier. And that's one of the things I did with this guy Dern merch. I'll tell y'all about it right now. Let me get out. Let me see if I can find a better place because these sun rays. See if I can find a better spot. Oh yeah, right there in the opening where there ain't no parking spot. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> what in the hoot nanny got me driving around the parking lot? You probably think I'm crazy. Okay, right now is no, no sun. Now watch this. All right, I guess this is better. All right, let me tell y'all what I did with this merch. <laughs> I ordered some, I ordered two products. I'm gonna start with two products. Um, everything with the uh, FOA merchandise is going to be practical. I want it to be practical. I want it to be things that you buy and don't just like toss it away or never use it. So, I won't tell you what the two products are. I'd rather show you than tell you. The two products are expected. All right, let me tell you what I did. And I regret doing this. Many of you know I had the candle business, right? And with the candle business, I was in the apartment. I was able to order the products, the shipping products and everything I need. I had a place to put everything and store everything. I had a place to make the candles and store the candles. So it was really easy. So I was still thinking in that mentality. Okay, I have the storage unit. I can order some products, put it in the storage unit, and I don't have to use, I can cut out the middleman, meaning a site like uh, Teespring, which a lot of YouTubers use Teespring to uh, sell their merchandise. Teespring, they they take the orders, they ship them out. It's like a print-on-demand type of deal. Whenever they get an order, they make the product and send it out to the customer. Well, 
that's the route I should have taken. <laughs> I should have taken that route because it would have made things much easier for me because then I don't have to actually physically be in one place, meaning PA, to fulfill orders. So this is going to be a hard lesson for me. I ordered some products, two products. Now, thankfully, I did not order a lot of these products because I wanted to see how well or not well you guys receive or not receive the product, meaning I wanted to see if you guys gonna actually purchase the product. Now, I ordered 50, 50 of each because the more you order, the less expensive each product is. I was gonna do 25, but that made the product jump up about three or four dollars. So I said, okay, let me try 50, you know, and that made the product lower. So with that being said, I now have and expecting two products, 50 of each. I feel confident that you guys will like the product if the product, in fact, looks like it looked online. Now, I had to approve the proofs for the products. I made them change one of the products, which they did. I hope it comes back in the change uh, form and not the original form. Um, so, yeah. So now I have to... Now, this is the part that made it harder for me because I'm going to go to Teespring after I um, sell the 50 products of each of these two products, I'm going to go to Teespring. But I have to now make a website, create a website. I have to pay and create a website, put the products on the website, do all of those things so that you guys can have a way of purchasing the product. If I've gone with Teespring from the beginning, I wouldn't have had to do all that. But one I think disadvantage of Teespring is you don't get to see the physical product. You know, I'm well, maybe if you buy one of the products yourself and then get that sent to you, you can. But at least I will be able to receive these products. I will be able to see the products, you know, but... I just made it a lot more work for myself rather than just going and get, you know, let Teespring handle all of it. Lesson learned, lesson learned, lesson learned. So now I have to create a website, uh, which I will do. Uh, I'm only going to keep the website for uh, uh, as long as it takes to sell the products. And then I'm going to get with Teespring and sell the products from there. Now, when I join Teespring, the products are obviously going to be different because um, Teespring products are probably different looking than what the products from this company that I bought these two products from. Now, if these two products come out the way I see them online, I love them. I love the way that the new logo looks on them. And I think that you guys will love them as well. So that's my update with the merchandise. The next thing I want to update you guys on or share with you guys is that I have a P.O. box now. I finally, finally got one. You know, I was kicking and screaming. No, I don't want one. I don't want one. But every time, you know, People have been saying, when are you going to get a P.O. box? When are you going to get a P.O. box? Even two people at the last meetup, the Houston meetup, asked me about a P.O. box. So the, the hesitant of a P.O. box for me was, I'm going to be traveling. You know, I'm going to be at campgrounds and stuff. I'm not going to be in PA or in the, the area that I'm in now all the time. And that was the hesitation of getting a P.O. box. It's not that I did not want to get one. It was like, okay, am I going to be around to receive anything if someone actually sends me something? So, I'm going to try to pay attention. 
because I'm going to tell you guys when I'm leaving out of town and for approximately how long. So don't send me anything because it's just going to be sitting there. So that's how we're going to work that out. That's how we're going to work that out, you know. So I'm going to put the P.O. Box uh, address up here. And I'll also include it in the description of this video. So that you guys can, uh, those of you who were interested in me have getting a P.O. Box, I finally got one. So that's the uh, second thing I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to think of if there was anything else. I don't know. It probably was, and I probably forgot at this time. Oh, I know what I wanted to share with you guys as well. An update on this here. It looks clear, a lot clearer than it did in my uh, the past few uh, days. It actually felt like it was like a piece of debris or not debris or something was in my eye. So this morning when I woke up, I kind of gently rotated my eye around. The thing is, I never did anything to try to get rid of the red eye. I never did anything. You know, I was just like, oh, in a few days, it'll go away. It'll go away. I didn't even like go to a CVS and get some eye drops or anything like that. I'm not good with putting eye drops in. I'm telling you, I would probably use half of the daggone Lord's container before I get the drip to go in my eye. I'm horrible at that. Anybody else out there have trouble with uh, putting eye um, drops in? Because it seemed like I blink right before it goes into my eye. <laughs> and it ends up running down my face all the time. It's so frustrating. That's why I know I would never ever be able to wear contacts. I would never ever be able to put those things in. But yeah. So my eye feels so much better. The first couple of days or few days, my eyes was like really sensitive to light. And then a few days later, that went away. But it still felt like something was in my eye. You know how you used to tell your t tell somebody, you lift your lid up and say, blow in my eye, blow in my eye. Well, I didn't have nobody to do that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, my eye feels so much better. It is much, much clearer now. Thank all of you for your concern about the eye. But I'm one of those people that I don't run directly to the uh, hospital unless... It's a, like a, a, not an emergency, emergency. Like I say, if I cut myself and I got blood running all and I need stitches, yeah, I'll go then. But something like this, I always just wait it out for a few days to see. And then I look online and see if there's something that I can do myself to kind of remedy the problem. And basically I did that and they just told me to run some warm water uh, in my eye, hold my eye. And I didn't do any of those things, but my eye feels better. I just started, like I said, I gently rotated my eye around to see if I can get whatever is in there out. And it appears to be out right now. My eyes are not uh, sensitive to the light anymore. So that's a good thing. Anywho, enough rambling. I'm about to get in here and get my clothes. And then I'm about to go and make me some macaroni salad. All right. I'm on a treadmill. I'll do this for about 30 minutes. As you can see, I got my regular clothes on because I'm about to shower afterwards anyway and change my clothes. So it's no need in me having a whole gym outfit or wardrobe. This is much easier. Alright. Oh boy. Usually around the 25 minute mark I increase the speed and the incline so I can give myself that extra push towards the end of the 30 minutes.
All right, guys. I think that's gonna do it for today. Whew. Got a pretty good workout. I'm gonna hit the showers and then move on with the day. Oh my God. Whew. All right, guys. I'm all done with the gym. Got a nice little workout. Feeling pretty good. Now, I'm gonna head to Retinors because in my last video, someone said that Retinors have the best fried chicken. So I'm gonna go get some of that chicken and see what it's all about. I decided I don't wanna make the uh, macaroni salad now. I don't feel like doing it. So whatever the rest that is, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of the Retinors fried chicken and some uh, potato salad. I had to do a nose trim there <laughs> and get some potato salad, some red skin potato salad. And I'm gonna call that dinner because I don't feel like doing nothing else. <laughs> I, had a, I had a long morning. <laughs> all right, guys, let's, uh, all right, guys, let's head to Redness now and get some fried chicken. I'm gonna put some of this lotion on. My face look like a ghost. Oh boy. I shaved and cut my hair and everything yesterday. This lotion don't work as good as it did when I first bought it. I guess it kinda lost this scent. I bought some of these, some more uh, Carmex lip balm. That's what I use, not lipstick. <laughs> Do you use lipstick? Your lips are always shining. Can y'all hear that wind blowing? Okay, put the brim back on. All righty, there we go. All righty, <laughs> with my keys. All righty, let's go to Red North, get some fried chicken and some red skin potato salad. All right, guys, I am back from Redner's and I got some of their fried chicken. I'm just gonna try a couple pieces of it right now. Oh, I'm spitting. I'm gonna try a couple pieces of it right now. I got the eight piece. It's two breasts, two drums, two thighs, and two wings. This is what their Redner's bag look like. Don't even have a handle on it. <laughs> Starting off wrong. <laughs> Who don't have a handle on the bag? Royal Farm, Giants, they have handles. I'm just gonna try a couple pieces. And I also bought, like I said I would, some red skin potato salad and <laughs> I bought some some hot pockets oh my god I ain't had hot pockets in so long but they're so good and I have a microwave so let's try some of this since somebody told me in the comments section that retiners have the best fried chicken. I'm going to see right now. All right. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's do a drumstick. Let's do a drumstick. I want this stuff to go back in a bag because you know when you bite chicken and parts of it fall all over the place. Here we go. Hmm. 
I need a second opinion. Wowzer. It is delicious. Oh my goodness. That person who said that in the comments, thank you. It is delicious. Mmm. Wowzer. Mmm. Whenever I had my share of grocery store fried chicken, Acme, Giants, Royal Farm, I love Royal Farms chicken. Mmm. That's not a grocery store, but. That is really good. Wow, that. Mm mm mm. Mm mm. Keys fell down in the gap. Ooh, I hate when that happens because sometimes you can't reach them. Oh, uh, but mm. I'm gonna try another piece. Oh, this looks so good. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Ain't nothing wrong with these choppers, boy. <laughs> Mm -mm. I still have not seen Black Panther. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to see it now. That movie is almost three hours long. I won't see it today because it's football day. All right, guys. Mm -mm -mm. If you have a red nose next, the red nose next to you or close to you, I highly recommend you try their fried chicken. Mm, that's good. Oh my goodness! Wow. Oh, don't forget the P.O. box will be in the description. There's something else I want to tell y'all about. Mm. Right now, my mind is on this chicken. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. <clears throat> Uh, many of you uh, said that you like these type of videos where I take you guys along. I'm starting to get into the groove of these types of videos. And maybe they'll become a regular part of the style videos that I uh, produce for you guys. Um, I am having fun doing this, but sometimes, you know, you just don't feel like recording everything at all day long or a part of your day. But I did enjoy it this time and uh, my last video. So with that being said, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. Get some, uh, some retinal chicken. Mm, mm, mm. So good. So good.